When I graduated from high school last year with an honor in science and a high SAT score, my parents were very pleased since that was indeed an achievement for me. It was not the best, I was not the best student in science and also neither did I have good English skills about three years ago. However, I had a dream of getting to prestigious universities in America. So my teachers advised me to focus much more on improving my English and then on biology, chemistry, and physics. Taking that into consideration, I had worked day and nights for almost two years. For instance, I was listening to US and UK music, and I read novels on a daily basis. Eventually, my readings, writings, and listening skills become much better and I could understand the science subjects on a deeper level, which surprised my home teacher greatly. After one year, my grade went from a C in science to an A+, plus, and consistently, I had my friends asking me for studying advices due to the fact that I told them and shared all of my studying strategies. Likewise, my SAT score became one of the highest in my school. After so many practice tests and done, and so much time was well spent. I felt so good about myself, about this achievement because it was all due to my dedication and hard work. Like they say, for success, there's no place for procrastinators. Success has a different meaning for different people. For some, having a fat bank balance means success. For others, leading a meaningful life and being able to help others means success. Here, I would like to talk about a success which I achieved in my life. Once, I took part in a competition and won the first prize. For me, overcoming my glossophobia was a very difficult thing. I used to be very state shy. It so happened that once I participated in an environment fair held in my hometown. We were a team of four students, Mohit, Rohan, Ravi and I. We had to make a model on pollution. It was very difficult to collect ideas for the model but our teacher, Mrs. Promila, helped us. We collected all data from different sources like the internet, library, magazines, and so on. We presented all three types of pollution, air, water, and noise pollution on Thermocon. In this project, we showed the causes, effects, and ways to control pollution. We had to speak turn-wise on our model. I remember I was very afraid to speak. But my other friends gave me the confidence. I felt very good that I was part of that team. I spoke very well that time. Getting over my glossophobia was an accomplishment for me. I felt very good after that. We won the first prize in this competition. The judges specially mentioned that the first prize was mainly because of the verbal explanation of the model. The fair was covered by the local cable TV and so many people of the neighborhood congratulated me that day, the next day. Our photograph was also there in the local newspaper, Jagbani. Our school principal also appreciated us. I cannot forget that day. All four of us were on cloud nine on that day. So this was a success I achieved in my life. It is very difficult to measure, measure success because success means different things to different people. So that is why there is no measure of success. Uh, for some people, um, you can measure, they measure other people's success by the, um, by the money the person has or by uh, 
uh, by his status in society and other people for other people money may not have that much value being successful may mean being able to help others achieve having a happy and contented life may mean success so it is very difficult to uh, to measure a person's success uh well uh, things have changed uh, and getting success has uh, also changed earlier a lot of hard work went into becoming successful but now it is uh, the media is very uh, media plays a very big role in uh, in success of people uh, because of these reality shows uh, people can get success very soon those who have some talent they can uh, get success very soon by showing their talent otherwise earlier what happened was that even if people had talent uh, very few people knew about them or came to know about them but today success can be achieved very soon with the help of media uh, here again i would like to say that success is very difficult to define it has a different definition for different people some measure it with the amount of money some measure it with the uh, with the uh, happy and contented life so this is very difficult to define the best way to reward successful people is by acknowledging their success uh, by uh, sometimes they can be given some monetary benefits and uh, by just uh, uh, recognizing uh, their hard work and uh, applauding them that is the way to reward successful people for me the most difficult thing was to overcome my glossophobia i used to be a real big introvert i never i felt very shy i could never go out and meet people but uh, the time i spoke and my friends encouraged me to speak on that uh, science in that science fair that changed me altogether i realized it was not very difficult after all so that i think was the most difficult thing for me otherwise i have uh, done many other things which i Uh, put in a lot of effort and they were difficult for me but this was the most difficult thing i have ever done uh there are many qualities needed uh, to get success a person has to be hard working a person uh, needs should have good communication skills the person should uh, respect time and uh, do good uh, manage time well he should be good at time management he should be conscientious and meticulous that means that he should go into minor details and careful he should do everything very carefully so these are the qualities a person needs to have to be successful at times i do feel terrible when i fail to do something especially when i have put all my effort into it but then i realize that failures are also part and parcel of life and i try again and uh, i try to do things in a better way the next time definitely yes failure is very necessary in people's life until and unless one has failed faced failures in life he cannot recognize the importance of success so failure is very very necessary in people's life okay here is a part 2 topic describe an achievement you're proud of it's not a very natural response someone's reading it but let's have a listen so the prompt says you should say what you achieved when you achieved it what difficulty you had and explain why you're proud of this achievement when i graduated from high school last year with an honor in science and a high sat score my parents were very pleased 
since that was indeed an achievement for me. It was not the best. I was not the best student in science, and also neither did I have good English. Well, it's just one thing. Uh, for subjects, we don't need any the. There are no articles for science for subjects. English skills about three years ago, however. I had a dream of getting to prestigious universities in America. So one person wants to get into many universities? Hmm. So my teachers advised me to focus much more on improving my English and then on biology, chemistry, and physics. All right, well, it's good that he's got the subjects down. A lot of people confuse, for example, physics. They say they confuse physics with physical, and then they use the wrong word. Taking that into consideration, I had worked day and nights for almost two years. All right, so we've seen quite a few mispronunciations. Like here, I'm pretty sure he tried to say day, but he said date. So even though his rhythm is really good, and there's intonation, and that's good, but there's just too much mispronunciation. And nights for almost two years. For instance, I was listening to US and UK music and I read novels on a daily basis. So this, I don't know if this is a pronunciation problem or if this is just a grammar problem. He said read instead of read. And I read novels on a daily basis. Eventually, my readings, writings, and listening skills become much better and I all right, so this should be in the past tense, right? And it's reading, writing, and listening skills became much better. Uh, why don't we say improved? So my listening, reading, and writing skills improved a lot. I could understand the science subjects on... Again, why is it the science subjects? Is he talking about science or is he talking about science-related subjects? Whichever one it is, there should be no article there. A deeper level, which surprised my home teacher greatly. Okay, in the past tense. After one year, my grade went from a C in science to an A+, plus, and consistently, I had my friends asking me for studying advices. Advices is not accountable. <laughs> I should say advice, rather. Advice is not accountable noun, so it should just be advice. What I did like here was... Uh, he said his grade went from a C to, what was it, an A+. Well, I don't know if I believe that, but anyway. The structure to go from C to, or go from X to Y, go from anything to anything else, it's a good sentence pattern to use. And consistently, I had my friends asking me for studying advices due to the fact that I told them and share all of my studying strategies Likewise, my SAT score became one of the highest in my school. Highest? After so many practice tests and done, and so much time was well spent. Wait, what? After so many practice tests and done, I don't know what that means. One of the highest in my school. After so many practice tests and done, and so much time was well spent. I felt so good about myself. All right, so here we see a little bit of stress. I felt so good about myself. And notice how his rhythm, oh, not his rhythm, the pace at which he speaks increases there. It's good to vary your pace. You don't want to be speaking at the same pace the whole time. About his achievement because it was all due to my dedication. All due to my dedication. There's some stress on the all there. And hard work, like they say, for success, there's no place for procrastinators. Do people say that? All right, anyway. All right, here is an alternative response. Success has a different meaning for different people. For some, having a fat bank balance means success. For others, leading a meaningful life and being able to help others means success. Here, I would like to talk about a success which I achieved in my life. Okay, so it's quite a long introduction. 
uh, it's not terrible. I don't know if it's necessary to give such a long introduction. Really, what you can just start with is this. So I'd like to talk about blah, 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 blah. About a success, which I achieved in my life. Once I took part in a competition and won the first prize. For me, overcoming my glossophobia was a very difficult thing. I used to be very state shy. It so happened that once I participated in an environment fair held in my hometown. We were a team of four students. I just wish she would speak a little bit faster or read a little bit faster. I don't know if she's talking or reading. Maybe she's reading. Mohit, Rohan, Ravi and I. We had to make a model on pollution. Where is it she? was very difficult to collect ideas for the model, but our teacher, Mrs. Promila, helped us. We collected all data from different sources like the internet, library, magazines, and so on. We presented all three types of pollution, air, water, and noise pollution on Thermocon. In this project, we showed the causes, effects, and ways to control pollution. We had to speak turn-wise on our model. All right, so so far it's been really good. Until this sentence here, we had to speak turn-wise. Uh, we had to, I don't know, maybe you can just say speak in turn. But since it's like a presentation, why don't we say we had to deliver the presentation in turn but anyway it doesn't matter what the verb is if you want to say speak that's fine i would say deliver since it's a presentation so you can say to speak in turn or deliver the presentation in turn but anyway the phrase you're looking for is turn not turn wise hang on the phrase is in turn not turn wise i remember i was very afraid to speak but my other friends gave me the confidence. I felt very good that I was part of that team. I spoke very well that time. I wish you would just speak a little faster. I know I'm saying the same thing, but <clears throat> it's just the same pace the whole time, quite slow. Getting over my glossophobia was an accomplishment for me. I felt very good after that. We won the first prize in this competition. Though the grammar, the grammar is very well controlled. There aren't a lot of mistakes, but look at these sentences. They're all very short. Well, this one uses a conjunction, so this one is not so short. But look at this. I felt very good that I was part of that team. Very short. I spoke very well that time short sentence getting over my glossophobia was an accomplishment for me very short sentence i felt very good after that it's again it's a simple sentence we won the first prize of this competition is there more oh no well i guess there should be a period there this one is a, okay here's a longer sentence let's listen to this that is specially mentioned that the first prize was mainly because of the verbal explanation Okay, so we won the first prize, mainly because the first prize didn't exist because of your explanation. You won the first prize because of your explanation. Of the model. Oh, it stopped right there. I was hoping for a longer sentence. Model. The fair was covered by the local cable TV. Covered is a great word to use. Like when the media reports on something, they like cover that topic. And so many people of the neighborhood congratulated me that day, the next day. Our photograph was also there in the local newspaper, Jagbani. Our school principal also appreciated us. Our school principal appreciated us. Does she mean congratulated us? I cannot forget that day. All four of us were on cloud nine on that day. Okay, it's a great idiom to be on cl cloud nine, to be very happy about something. So this was a success I achieved in my life. Yeah, vocabulary, really good. 
pronunciation pretty good except for the pace but maybe that's more of a fluency thing uh just for the grammar sentences are too simple even though there are very very few mistakes actually there aren't any mistakes i don't think there are any grammar mistakes no grammar mistakes but too simple let's move on to part three how, part three how can success be measured It is very difficult to measure measure success because success means different things to different people. So that is why there is no measure of success. Well, <laughs> maybe there's no standard measure of success, but there are obviously measures of success. She said she just said different. Success means different things to different people. So different people have their own measurements, but there's no standard measurement. Anyway, I think I'm nitpicking here. No measure of success. Uh, for some people, um, you can measure, they measure other people's success by the, um, by the money the person has or by, uh, by his status in society. And other people, for other people, money may not have that much value. Being Okay, so we see a little bit self, a little bit of self correction coming in here. Being successful may mean being able to help others, achieve having a happy and contented life. Was that achieve? Mean being able to help others, achieve having a happy and contented life. Or maybe it is actually. Help others, achieve having a happy and contented life. That's true. Uh, the adjective is content having a happy and content life may mean success so it is very difficult to uh, to measure a person's success fair enough still a good answer uh, well uh, things have changed uh, and getting success has uh, also changed earlier a lot of hard work went into becoming successful I do like this a lot of hard work went into instead of saying people worked very hard to become successful she puts the hard work as the topic of the sentence hard work went into becoming successful that's good but, but nowadays uh, the media is very uh, media plays a very big role in uh, in success of people in the success of people uh, because of these reality shows uh, people can get success very soon those who have some talent they can people can get success very soon now hang on a second the way people gain success now do most people become successful by going on reality shows maybe not so Maybe we shouldn't just say people, we should say some people. Uh, people can get success very soon, those who have some talent, they can uh, get success very soon by... Okay, so why is it really necessary to say this twice, the very soon, the very soon? Showing their talent, otherwise earlier what happened was that even if... Otherwise, earlier what happened. I'm not sure why she uses the word otherwise here. Because otherwise is used to indicate what will happen if something else does not happen. But what's the connection here? People can get people can be successful by showing their talent. Otherwise, earlier what happened, and also I think this is what happened earlier. Okay, I'm not sure why she uses otherwise here, and this should be what happened earlier was that even if people had talent uh, very few people knew about them or came to know about them but today success can be achieved very soon with the help of media right but you said that already okay how do you define success so this might be your personal definition or it might be how most people define success 
here again i would like to say that success is very difficult to define it has a different definition for different people some measure it with the amount of money some measure it with the i don't know why she uses the definite article here so some measure it in money or in an amount of money not the we don't need a definite article here we don't know what amount of money you're talking about uh, with the uh, happy and contented life here she says contented again so this is very difficult to define next question